everybody. I am back. I have finished my insect insect guide field. Um, I'm sorry, field guide to insects altered book journal, and I'm here to do a flip through. So this is the book. This is actually all the remaining pages from the book, and I made a little uh, gusseted file uh, folder for it. So this, these all will be. Um, sent along with the book so people can continue to use the colored images and the um, regular pages uh, for collage or for whatever else you want to use it for. So that will be included. And I'm going to put that to the side. And then this is a journal. So what I decided to do was to just, um, this is the flat pen that will go along with, and it has some cute little bugs on it. This is from the Stamperia uh, spring botanic kit and for the closure I really really didn't want to um, ruin this fabulous uh, ruler on the back and um, and I didn't want to do much to the to the cover because what I love about these field guides is these hard covers now I really love the the cloth ones these slightly older ones more but this I also love because of this fabulous grasshopper so I did a really simple sorry silk closure on one side. So you can just wrap it around and tie a bow. For the signatures, I also devised a way of sewing in the two signatures so that it wouldn't interfere with the name on the spine. So it's kind of a, a jury rigged kind of a, a closure, but it works. And that's the back. The inside, um, I kept the original end pages because they're just fabulous. This apparently belonged to Alexandra Ballard. So this was a, a real vintage book. And then I also um, coated the inside with some fabulous Tim Holtz. Uh, what is this called? I think it's entomology. Entomology fabric. This is a journaling card. It's got a couple, it's got a teeny tiny um, bull clip and you can fill in this label on your own and there is a die cut um, butterfly there so that I have it was a little bit too large to stick in any of the pockets so I just clipped it there as I said there are two signatures and so this is that uh, Stamperia Spring Botanic for the first signature cover and it opens and this is an altered file folder that opens, and there is a um, spare, can you see that? Spare specimen slide that you can use in there. And I've left that little, tied that little piece of waxed thread on so that it's easier to get in and out. There is um, some bugs, some cutout bugs in this window here. Um, some journaling pages, and then there is a tag on the back that is just from the book page, and that is from the Dragonflies page. This is such a fabulous image. I wanted to include that. So that tucks behind, and then this just wraps around closed. So this is the title page from the field guide, and real vintage paper, some, some color plates, um, another this is a journaling card, but for these journaling cards, what I did with the coffee dye paper on the back is I just folded it. So it's actually quite a large piece of journaling paper. And I'm clipping that in so you can still see the page behind. So there's coffee dye paper. There are some of these little, um, these are punch bugs. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you ever play punch buggy when you were a kid? Well, these are punch bugs and they're just alcohol ink paper that I've cut out with a, um, a small circle punch, two small circle punches, and they look like these little shield beetles. So those are, those are like the gold, the hidden gold bugs in the Richard Scarry's books from when you were a child or when your kids were kids. So more journaling space, uh, a color plate, more journaling space. There's another little punch bug. This is the center. This ties closed and on the inside there is a um, book page pocket with that's I've got some a color plate a uh, file folder journaling card um, and then this this is faux um, 
old scotch or sticky tape that I aged with alcohol inks. It's just vellum. I've got some vellum envelopes with some uh, die cuts and some other little things in the this book page pocket here. And then that folds and ties closed. So I kind of had in mind a, 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 a collector when I was making this. So there's another gold bug. Book plates, aged papers, butterfly. I love these ones that have the anatomy. I think those are super cool. There's another gold bug. And see, I mean, it just reminds me of these little shield beetles. They're so beautiful. There's an amazing, if you ever have a chance to go to the Harvard Natural History Museum, they have amazing exhibits of all the diversity of, of beetles there. And here's the end, the back of the that first signature that has a, a little pocket with another journaling page that has extra folded uh, paper in it. And that just fits in there and wraps closed. These are all um, Tracy Fox and uh, I think they're all Tracy Fox. Yeah. See ya, have fun, honey. Tracy Fox um, labels. And then these are, so all, in this pocket, on the back of this, this book page pocket here, is uh, instructions from the field guide on how to fold a triangular envelope in order to collect bugs. So I've made some. And there are surprises of bugs. There's some surprises in there for you, for whomever buys this. So I thought that was fun. And these are just, this was a, a black and white plate that I colored in with some distress inks. And there is two little tiny tags there with one of the Tim Holtz thingies. I don't even know what that's called. There is a, a, a tag in that little tuck. Um, more different kinds of journaling pages, another one of those book plate journaling tags, more uh, aged paper, beetles, wings. I'm really, I just I so enjoyed making this one. This is the center of this one and it has a, an envelope window pocket with a uh, tri-bug tag <laughs> and a little hanging tag with a Tracy label. And this is another little pocket thing with some more surprises in a triangular entomology collector's pouch. And that just wraps like that. More wings, gold bug, more paper, caddisfly larva. These are indicators of healthy streams. So if you go on a walk in the woods and you find a stream with caddisfly larva, then you know it's a healthy stream. They're very sensitive to pollutants. And there you go, ladybird beagles, yay! Who doesn't love a ladybird beetle? Some more pages, hymenoptera. Bees and wasps, we love our pollinators. And that one I put a little um, tiny, uh, what's it called? One of those little paper, you know, with the prongs that go through to make it look like a preserved beetle. So that was fun. And then that is it. And I have nothing on the back pages here. Um, because this paper is really just to reinforce this end page so that it can be preserved because these end pages are just really interesting. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you or someone you know is a, an aspiring or established or hobby entomologist, hopefully maybe they would, they would enjoy such a book. And I, this will be listed in my Etsy um, hopefully today, today is Saturday, March 22nd, I believe. 
which is lovely because that means we're almost through the longest month of the year. And um, yeah, I hope you are all well and you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.